This is AJ with Gun Spread Option Football. Uh, this is probably the most my favorite play to run against this defense. Uh, I get really excited about running inside rear against this. Um, you know, running split back growing up. Um, in high school, you know, this was probably one of the be best plays, other than, you know, running outside rear and split back too. But when you see a 5 2, um, you know, hitting it up inside here, you know, it's great. It's great run lanes here. Um, it allows you to fan the back side and allows you to have numbers. You know, it's 5 on 7, we have the numbers. These two guys, these guys here can have, again, three five-foot splits. You know, get those guys out of there. The running back, again, is going to aim for that center's butt and make his cut off of what he sees in front of him where the linebackers are. Because um, one thing that, you, that you'll see on uh, against good defenses is these linebackers, they're going to fly. These two guys, the center and guard, that's why this would probably maybe be at the most two feet, probably a one foot though. You smart split this one. Um, those two guys are in charge of these two guys. Um, if we can, if we can just slip this off and he can, you know, handle this and solo this by himself, that's what we prefer. And then this tackle is just going to inside re release and go get this backer. Um, that's why, you know, if he misses here, we've got good solid blocks here, we got a great run lane, he can cut it back. So, um, that's more for the running back to read. The quarterback's still going to read the one and the two. Here's your dive read. Again, he's way out here. And here's your pitch key. Um, he's going to zone block it or man block it. He's going to run at him. Block there. He'll push the push out the corner, run to the free. W's got the pitcher out on this. And working down the line of scrimmage. You can get good pitch relationship. Go there, go there. Um, again, here's your key for your S, is to read that, read this, double team, see what those backers are. Um, the better he's able to, you know, look at this, and rep this out, um, you'll have some great success. Again, on this one too, 80% of the time we're hitting cut back, and on that, on, on this play also, it just it works out so well because everybody thinks that you're coming play side all the time with all your other stuff, and so you know to be able to hit that um, every once in a while, it goes for some big yards. Plus, it's great angles on the backside for blocking. Um, if you do get the pitch, um, I'd have to say. 80 to 90 percent of the time when you get the pitch it goes for a touchdown um because everybody else is accounted for he's accounted for he's accounted for there's nobody left if he comes down really hard really fast and smokes dive and he comes down and he comes down and takes quarterback there's nobody left so you know you don't always want to sit in this pitch the football but in this case if you do get the pitch he usually goes for a touchdown because these guys are so aggressive and used to coming in hard that you know the perimeter is wide open. Again, these are crucial blocks and these drills need to be practiced a lot. These are touchdown blocks out here all the time, blocking down the field. Um, this here split again could be a just a regular three foot split. Um, so. That is inside beer, and it's a it's a great great play against a three four, um, probably my favorite one. So, if you guys have any questions or comments on on inside beer, um, let me know. Hit me up. Thank you.